Hi friends, welcome back to Hobbies and Passion. In this video, I am going to tell you about infusion which helps us make some amazing fertilizers for plants. Many of us don't do composting, could be due to several reasons. Though I strongly recommend composting, I am going to share an idea today which will help you reuse your kitchen scrap for the good of your plants. That is infusion. Infusion is a very simple process of soaking some vegetative material in water for some amount of time to get all its good content to leach into water. So today I will show you some infused fertilizers which can be used on all varieties of plants. Let's get started. Before that, if you have not subscribed already, please press on the bell icon to subscribe to my channel. The first fertilizer we are going to prepare today is onion peel infused water. Onion peel water is full of different vitamin B's and has lots of vitamin C, calcium and potassium. This also contains small amounts of iron, manganese, phosphorus and zinc. So as you can see, this has a lot of nutrients which help in overall development of plants and also boost the flowering. In order to prepare this, I have taken onion peels which are dry. Take an empty container and transfer the peels into the container. Now fill it with water up to 80%, close it and leave it aside for 3 days. You need to keep the container in a dark place and after one day shake the bottle for the proper mix of all the ingredients. After 3 days you can see that the color of the water has changed and the onion peels have started getting transparent and dropping down. This indicates that your water is ready to use. Now sieve the fertilizer and dilute it before you give it to the plants. You can use this fertilizer every 5 days once for best result. For any kind of liquid fertilizer, it is good to have a measuring cup or some quantity in mind that you need to give for the size of the pot in which your plant is placed. Onion peel fertilizer can be used to spray to your plants in your foliar spray or you can also use it to dip your kokedama so that it also gets the benefits of this fertilizer. Watermelon Rind Infused Water We are in the season of watermelon. While we relish the fruit, we can also put the outer layer or ring to a best use for the plants. Watermelon rind contains potassium, phosphorus, magnesium and it also has less amounts of calcium, copper and nitrogen. To prepare this, take the watermelon rind and remove the outer skins which are shiny. This will speed up the fermentation process and that's the reason I will be using only the fleshy part today. After removing the outer skins, cut the fleshy part into small pieces. Now take an empty container and transfer the cut pieces into the container. I will be adding 2 spoons of sugar or you can add some molasses which help in the speed up of fermentation process. Also sugar helps in propagation of many microorganisms. Fill water up to 75% of the container and leave it aside for 5-6 to six days in a dark area. After 1 or 2 days you can see that the bubbles are formed on the top which indicates that the fermentation process has started. After that, every single day you need to remove the lid and allow the gases to escape. Also mix all the ingredients. After 5 days, our fertilizer is ready. Filter it out and you need to dilute it in 1 is to 5 ratio before you give it to the plants. You can use this fertilizer every 5 days once for best results. Beetroot infused water. Every now and then I peek into my refrigerator to find some veggies which are not in a condition to use to cook. So I just pick them 
and this infused water is one such experimentation which has given me amazing results after which i did some research only to find out that beetroot is really rich in calcium magnesium potassium zinc vitamin a b6 and also has manganese and nitrate to prepare this take beetroot and cut it into small pieces take an empty container fill the cut pieces and fill the container with water you need to close this and set it aside for 4 days for our fertilizer to be ready Every day you have to open the lid and mix the ingredients for better results. After four days, sieve the contents and dilute it in one is to one ratio before you give it to the plants. After using this fertilizer, I have seen immense growth in the size of the leaf and also the branches. Eggshell infused water. Eggshells are primarily made out of calcium carbonate, so this water is really rich in calcium and good, has good amounts of potassium. This also has small amounts of phosphorus, magnesium, and sodium. This fertilizer is the best fertilizer for adeniums and bougainvillea. Wash the eggshells before using them to remove yellow traces completely. Then take an empty container and add the crushed shells into it. Now fill it with water and leave it aside for three days. After one day, shake the bottle or mix the contents for better results. After three days, you can see that the color of the water has changed. Filter it and dilute it in one is to one ratio and give it to the plants. This fertilizer is really good for the flowering plants and I have seen amazing results after using this fertilizer. Banana peel infused water. Banana peels are such a treat to the plants especially roses. They are packed with potassium, phosphorus and calcium. Banana peel is the highest organic source of potassium and flowering plants are highly benefited by using it. You can take two small banana peels or one big banana peel and roughly add it to 600 ml of water. Take the peels and cut into small pieces and transfer them to the container. Now fill it with water and set it aside for one or two days. After 2 days our fertilizer is ready. Filter the ingredients and dilute it in 1 is to 1 ratio before you give it to the plants. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and you find this information helpful. If you like my video, please click on the like button and share your views in the comments section. Thank you for watching.